Hi fiends, this is Susie, your gaming guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 483 in Best Fiends. This is called Among the Rubble, with the goals of collecting 55 bees. Here are the hives. We've got these barriers, these slug barriers along the way. But I do see we've got some uh, Roman candles, maybe to help us out. That's what I'm hoping. I don't have any little metal fixtures here for these to fall onto and get crushed. Bit disappointed about that. So I'm going to have to do my own work here, kind of crush through these as much as I can. Now I can reach this, which is good. I mean, I could get four this way. I did not pay attention to which guys I have. This is not my strongest lineup. So I'm a little bit concerned, but I'm hoping that because it was the hand-selected fiends, uh, the, you know, the recommended ones, I'm hoping that they'll still turn out to be helpful. I'm going to try to focus on the Roman candle. I think it's the most destructive force I have on the board currently, and so therefore is likely to be the most helpful in this adventure here. Plus, of course, I am going to be trying to get some bombs, and that's worked out quite well for me. Uh, let's see, though I can do this, and that's what I'm going to choose. I have to remember it's the beehives I'm going for, but the more I can clear this out, the more likely I'll be able to reach those beehives. Okay, so I could do this, and that hits two bees. Or I could do this, and that hits two bees and sends off the, <sighs> the Roman candle. Okay. And this only hits one bee and sets off the Roman candle, which then, of course, hits a bee again. But if I do this, I set off the Roman candle and I hit two bees off to the side here. So I'm going to take that opportunity. I can do this. That doesn't quite get me a bomb, but it gets me a lot of stuff. Or I could do this. Doesn't quite get me a bomb. But I like it more. It's a longer chain, and then the yellow is still left behind if I want to use it, which I do, and I want to get a bomb from that. Oh, so close to getting a bomb from that. Okay, I'm going to keep going this way. We're still getting bees. That's what we need. I need those bombs to be more helpful, though. I need area bombs. I don't know why I don't have area bombs with me. Just kind of silly. Yeah. I don't understand why these are the recommended fiends. But I'm going to hope to be able to get it done anyway, and so it won't matter. What if I do this? Do I double up because I send? No, because that bomb goes the other way. I'm going to do this and at least open up some of these glass cubes. And then I like that. Our ratio is off, though. We need to hit almost three per turn, and I'm not getting that done. That's not going to help. That's two, and it's wasting two bombs. That's three on this turn. No, it's not, because that blue doesn't reach down far enough because I have Howie, and Howie isn't very strong. I prefer this to bring that bomb down where it can do more damage, if I can set it off. Here, I can set it off this way using the Roman candle. All right. So if I do this, I hit two. I'm trying to make it so I can use this to hit this as well. That's not working out great. That's not wonderful. I think I'm going to use the yellow now because I think the yellow will do more damage. It does the most damage here. It hits three. I get three bees that way. 
Okay, and I get a yellow again. So if I come over this way, I get the Roman candle and I come through here and I get the bees this way. So at least I am taking out the ratios I need in order to get this done. And then what? If I do this, that sends those um, specials, those bombs, in not the best way. That's only going to be taking out two bees. What if I do this? Hold on. I take this and then go this way. That's more bees and it preserves this bomb. So now I'm down to a ratio of two. I need two bees per turn to get this done. That's just one bee and it ruins this opportunity. This is only one bee, but it does help to clear the board a little bit more. Not enough. Yikes. Okay. This is going to get me a bomb. I know it gets rid of a bomb, but it's going to pick up another bomb for me. I'm going to go ahead and take this. My ratios are off again. Uh, that's two. This is sad. I can't even get one of those guys there. All right, now I could do this. That looks pretty good. It gets two beehives, and it leaves a bomb behind, and it reorients this so it's aimed better. That bomb is just in an awful spot. Hello. Go backwards, go backwards. All right, I'm going to go ahead and take this, and then I have to hope for so many bombs on the board that I can use that are in good positions. That's not happening, is it? Oh, I wonder if this is enough. I need six. It's not going to be enough. That's only... Th it's not even three because it doesn't hit... Because the uh, the slugs don't permit things to go around. That's probably why we've got these instead of the area bombs as the recommended fiends. But I'm still not thrilled with that as a choice. Yeah, I still don't think it's a good choice. So, I lost. <laughs> Magnificent loss there. Um, I'm not going to use my extra turns to try to get this done because I like to collect the little bonus here. So I'm just going to grab, you know, a couple things and then I get my little give up bonus crate that I get to open up and get some free meteor mites there. Let's just jump right back in, but this time instead of going with the, the recommended fiends, I'm going to do some alternate fiend selection here. So I'm getting Moose instead of Tantrum. I am getting Lapolian instead of Vincent. I am getting Eleanor instead of Howie, because Howie is just vertical. Eleanor is vertical and horizontal. That might have some significance for me. And I'll stick with Vega. All right, so this is my new lineup. And, oh, this is set up a bit differently, so I kind of thought it was a pattern before. I'm just going to go with it. I'm not going to try to set up a new pattern here and just start crashing through. Once I get this open, I'll be able to better look at the uh, ratios that I need. But in the beginning, it's hard just to get anything going. So that's good. We're still hitting those bees there. And then look at this. I'm hitting the bee directly and hitting the Roman candle. And that's a good way to try to approach things. Doesn't always work. I can hit this directly, but 
this gives me two of the beehives, so I'm going for that. Now we're at a slightly greater than two per turn uh, need here. Now look at this. I could do this, and that sets off the Roman candle, but this one also hits this beehive and sets off the Roman candle and gives me a bomb. So that's preferable. This Roman candle, beehive, and bomb. I would prefer to have the bomb a little bit lower, uh, but I do like this. I'm going to get at least three bees out of that four bees out of that, so that was good. Another bomb. How best to use this? I would need to have it right here, of course, because that's where that Roman candle is situated. Can't do that, but can I get it in any other way? Yeah, because I'm lining up with this, so that looks like a good opportunity. I mean, it's not fantastic, but that gets me two bees. I don't see a better approach, so that's what I'm going to take. All right, next. I can get two bees by hitting this, and I've got two opportunities to hit it. I can come along this way, or I can go the other way with the, the yellow. I'm going to leave more yellow on the board because that's enough to get me that bomb plus a green bomb. So I do have opportunities here. Now I want that green bomb down lower. Oh, I would have to give up doing anything significant in order to get that green bomb lower. And I'm not willing to do that. I need to at least be taking things out. So I'm going to choose that, which is a different way to get that green bomb lower. And then this isn't low enough. Oh, it is low enough to hit. No, because it's hitting this. Is it also hitting this? I think it is. Uh, it wasn't. I only got two bombs there from the Roman candle. But now I know. Now I know what that range is. There we go. There's a blue bomb. We're going to use this and we're going to hit this. Yeah, we need much more than two per turn now. I can get one that way. Ah! I kind of meant to undo that. <laughs> I was still checking out my options. Oh well, that's the one I'm getting, because that's the one that I accidentally hit. Here, here's three on this turn. And I can't use that. I can hit this, but not this at the same time. I think I'm going to do this, and it's going to get me a green bomb. And a yellow bomb. Okay, that looks good. All right, I'm going to bring this over here. Now, unfortunately, that blue bomb got situated in a spot where it's not being extremely helpful, but it is being a little bit helpful. There, we got five on that one. So our ratio is looking a little bit better. All right, I can do this and come along here and hit this. I sacrifice that yellow bomb but I do make a lot of noise with that, so that's good. This poor red bomb, again, just um, captured by the slug fences. But we're getting three this way. And we're only getting one that way. I don't see a better way, and I'm hoping that the red will then be in a better position. Nope, still not in a good position. Ah, look at this. I get that one, and I come along here. So I get three on that. Okay. And I get at least two on this one. Wow. 
that hits a lot of stuff. It takes out a lot of bombs, unfortunately, but I think it's going to get me about four Bs, maybe only three, probably only three. Oops, hello. Go away. All right, look at this. I like this one. That looks good, right? That looks good. That's a good move. That's three. Okay, so two moves, five Bs. I'm in a better position than I was previously. I can get that one, and I can get those two, and I still have a bomb on the board. And I've got this positioned well, so even if I just hit this, it should work. Yep, there we go. Go all out on this one. There. Okay, so the second try with a different lineup than was originally provided. I really should have looked at that before I had started the level. But we got it done and we're going to get some extra rewards besides these fun things we're finding here. Yeah, blue meteor mites. You can tell I'm not all that thrilled about that. There we go. Diamonds and yellow meteor mites. That's what I like most. And then we got the painting roses to claim. So we're claiming seven keys that we're going to be able to use next time. I mean, I could use them now. I just kind of hold them over. And so it says the next painting challenge will unlock after you complete Liberty Regatta 11. So there's another one of these I need to start and get that done with. And so I'll get six keys if I can collect Lug's loot uh, by completing three levels. So it all works together for me. If this is helpful, let us that you consider liking and subscribing. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.